Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> this is Sheridan Ann Gay, and it is the 1st of September, 2023, and it's a Friday morning, and it's 523 uh, in the morning, <clears throat> and it's uh, early where I am in Northeast Texas, United States of America. Uh, this morning, um, this is not actually a reel. Um, because I wanted to look at the first, um, first Peter 4, 8. <laughs> and excuse me. <clears throat> and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So, First of all, I'm in First Peter chapter 4. And I'm on verse 8. And I wanted to look at the word charity out of the King James Version. Because in other versions, they mention the word love. So, I'm going to go to the word tools. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to make sure. Charity. Okay, <clears throat> go to the word charity right here, and this comes out of the Greek concordance number 26, and I find this interesting, and I don't know if it'll come through, <clears throat> but we used to put the accent on the, on this word right here, agape, well, it's not agape, it's agape. And I'll let you listen to it for yourselves if it'll come through. Strong's G26, Agape. Agape. So, <laughs> if I click on this right here, and I'm doing this out of the website right up here, uh, blue letter dot, it's blue letter Bible dot org and <clears throat> I'm showing you on the phone um, the word search that I'm doing right here so if I click on Akabe which is charity the accent is on the last so I've been saying it wrong for a long time we've all been saying agape <laughs> it's agape, which means the stress on the la is stressed on the last syllable, but it's Greek for charity, and with the word charity out of the King James Version, um, basically the King James Version trans Strong's Concordance translates um, in the Greek number twenty six. In the following manner, and it says the word love 86 times, charity, dear, charitably, feast of charity. So, what this is saying about love, this is talking about the character of God and his attributes. Okay, <clears throat> so last week I did the word mercy. Right now we're studying love. So the word charity is affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love. And when I read the first um, eight verses of First Peter chapter 4, Basically, what Peter was saying is that we need to love one another and we need to have fervent charity for one another because charity or love covers a multitude of sins. And it's kind of like saying it this way. Do we really love one another unconditionally the way that God loves us? Sometimes... I, even I myself have done this, and I've had to repent for my actions. 
We don't always walk in love with one another. So, <clears throat> if you come all the way down here to some of these scriptures, this is what I'm talking about. And this is in a different manner. Um, Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. Well, that's not the unconditional love of God. That's the phileos, affectionate love. The one that's in the flesh. <clears throat> that's the kind of love that we talk about. And you notice, this is one of the translations, because the word charity itself means love. And waxing cold um, basically means that I want to use the word resentful that you may love somebody in that moment, <clears throat> but sometimes those people can really annoy us, and we start to find fault with them to where we actually start hating them and not loving them in the way that we should. And right here, um, Luke chapter 11, verse 42, But woe unto you, Pharisees! <clears throat> for ye tithe mint and rue in all manner of herbs and pass over judgment and the love of God. Those ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Okay, so while we're Pharisees tithing, were they tithing in public? Were they doing all of this stuff to be seen? <clears throat> it's like their actions... We're not really meriting the words they spoke. So, and it's almost like a hypocrisy in the statement right here that Jesus was accusing them. And it's almost like that we, when we love somebody the way that Jesus was saying, <coughs> that our actions need to match up with our words and we need to walk in love with one another. This is what I believe. And whenever you love someone... That love does cover a multitude of sins. But what I believe is that <clears throat> as that love covers a multitude of sins, it gives them gives those people time to seek out the Lord for themselves and to repent. And I came to this conclusion just by reading this, that by this, uh, John 13, verse 35, by this shall all men know that ye... Or my disciples, if ye have love one to another, and excuse me, the allergies are going down. So, in John 15, verse 9, as the Father have loved me, so have I loved you, and continue ye in my love. So, these words that I'm showing you out of the Greek and out of the Hebrew have messages and scriptures and these scriptures whenever you study them carefully have messages that we can adopt for our own lives because a lot of times we talk about love we preach about love <clears throat> but are we walking in it and the way that we show that we are the disciples of Jesus is if we love one another not just in words but by action but that does not mean that you have to agree with what somebody does especially if it doesn't line up with the word of God and you know it's wrong but <laughs> you are to love them anyway and we are to pray for them but it doesn't mean that we have to associate with them if they're doing things that are not right on the moral grounds. And that's basically a definition of sin. All right, I'm going to try to turn this around. And hopefully it's not going to stop. Because I want to see y'all. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video this morning. Because I've been feeling this in my spirit. And also another good chapter to read for yourself. Is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And if you read it out of the King James Version, it's going to talk about the word charity. But it's the word love. And it's agape. 
out of the Great Concordance. <coughs> um, number 26. So, um, I'll talk about that word um, later. Because 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is a very good one to read. And I do encourage you to read the Bible and to read the Word of God for yourself. This is why I do videos and I do reels and sometimes I will go live <coughs> and get on the blue letter Bible.org. I do read my Bible. I have a hard copy, but I wanted y'all to know and to read the Word of God for yourself. Don't depend on me or anyone to do and listen to them. These videos that I do about the Bible are for you to get in the Word because it will guide you into all truth. <laughs> and when you think about it, God is love. And there is a scripture for that, but I'll talk about that later. So, um, y'all have a good day today, and hopefully I will do a live tomorrow morning. But God bless you, and bye-bye.